Hey everybody, this is Inform the Confused. I'm Alan. And I'm Bobby. Today we are doing uh, Ruby, Volume 3, Chapter 3. It's Brawl in the Family. Uh, last time we left off, we, uh, we had... Uh, the airship showed up. There was yep. the shiny, drunk, silver-haired guy at the... At the bar. At the crowbar. At the crowbar. At the crow which bar. is an excellent name for a pub. <laughs> uh... Uh, I'm still pretty sure that whoever came in with the um, the ship with like the little ribbons on it on it yeah. oh it, it totally had streamers yeah yep. it definitely mm-hmm. and but they were royal streamers or oh so, they or were something. very royal streamers they, they if were, there was a 12 year old in a ballet outfit with a stick waving them I would have been equally as impressed uh so I'm pretty sure that that's going to be Weiss's mom okay my reason being is because or my reason of that thought process is. Weiss seemed really excited, but she's never talked yep. about having sisters. And she, oh my gosh, she's here. Well, we do know she has a sister. That's been confirmed. Oh, she does. Uh, if you remember yeah. the conversation with the receptionist when she was calling the company to get information, oh, she's like, right. do you want me to put, in co- put you in contact with your dad? Oh, and your sister's here too. Okay, so yeah. it might be her sister then. I still think it's her mom. I'm, ga- okay. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's her mom. I, that's... That's where I think this story like is gonna go. They've already started to cover right. sister arcs with other people. This seems like a she's time like for a, some parent arc. Yeah, she's like daddy issues, daddy issues, daddy's an asshole, mom's not yeah. around. So oh. you're thinking this is gonna good. be a matri arc? Actually, yes. <laughs> that's not even. That's like a well placed. That's like that was finesse. That's a well placed pun. It was a pun that that in and of itself. But just but it was but notice how low. but notice how you didn't go. Oh Jesus! Because it's, yeah. I think that show, shows more my my level of restraint than anything else. Your resolve I thi- is strong. I think <laughs> it shows your uh, numbness to my puns at this point. You've been around me too much. I've punned too hard. You're mm. starting to build up a resistance. Side note, guys, it is getting hot out, so please make it a point to stay hydrated. It's really important. Mm. Assuming they live uh, around around us, there's some people living on the other side of the planet are freezing their butts off right now. Yeah, but don't forget, you do sweat inside your suit. Stay <laughs> hydrated. Don't eat snow. That dehydrates. Hydration is always important. Yeah. Soda All does right. not mean hydration. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, let's Either just going. liquor, but well, here we are. Oh Jesus! Yeah. All right, let's get into this. Nope. Nope, no audio. You guys don't have audio? Hold on. Let's, uh... Oh, there we go. There we, go. There we are. Oh, uh, you want to undo that, Bill? Thank you. There we go. That's better. Yeah. I turn, I turn, I turn the audio back on just as he cranks it up to 11. <laughs> Blaring in our heads. Okay, so I... I I'm, I'm starting to see that it's. Uh, I thought originally that all of the Grim attacking the, the tower like that, I thought that was going to be less foreshadowing and more like um, like a metaphor for something. Like mm-hmm. you know, it's it's doom is approaching. Right. Now I'm thinking that there's going to be a lot more like bulk Grim battles. You're thinking mm-hmm. that was more realistic than metaphor. More foreshadow, more literally foreshadowing than like uh, it, than. Uh, what's the word? Like, there's going to be a siege at the school kind of thing. Mm. Okay. Like, I, like, very much, this is the last stand. Either we do this here or we, we fall. Mm. The school falls. Place, what is the big deal? Who is it? Who is she? Winter. Sister. Wait. Mm-hmm. Damn. Your sister? Oh, it's you. Winter, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, your presence honors us. Beacon, it's been a long time. The air feels different. I mean, it is fall, so yeah, it's probably colder. <coughs> so, what are you doing here? Classified. Oh, right. Well, how long are you staying? Classified. Classified. Of course. Well, 
Well, this is nice, I think. You're going to love it here. I know you travel a lot, but so much of Beacon is different from Atlas. Bail too. The government and school are completely separate. Can you believe it? I I'm more than familiar with how this kingdom handles its bureaucracy. That is not why I came. Right. I'm sorry. Nor did I come here to watch my own blood fail so miserably in battle. But it appears I have no choice in the Oof. matter. But we won! Only a novice would refer to that as a victory. I counted at least three strikes missed. Leave us. This has to be a facade. <sighs> How have you been? Oh. oh, splendid! Thank you for asking. I'm actually in the very top ranking of our sparring class. The rest of my studies are going wonderfully, too. I'm... Silence, you boob! I don't recall asking about your ranking. I asked how you've been. Are you eating properly? Have you taken up any hobbies? <laughs> Are you making new friends? Well, there's Ruby. <laughs> Example, eh? <laughs> I see. So this is the leader you wrote of. Example A is a how very appropriately uh... underwhelmed. <laughs> okay, ah, so thank you. <laughs> Greetings, Weiss. I wish is to totally justified in being as <laughs> outraged. The way she acts now. <laughs> Expel uh, your toxicity on the world, you uh, poor, <coughs> poor soul. Uh, to me, now Ruby, that she's finally been she, introduced, I will I throw out as much as I hated Weiss. I love winter. Oh, I love winter so much. Really? Yes. I wish to inspect them and make sure they are up to my personal standards. Of course. Just so you're aware, the bunk beds only look unstable. <laughs> bunk beds? I'll catch up. Uh, I like how they address <laughs> that, though. Yeah. To, uh, to me, Ruby is the best part of the scene. Just the way Ruby is completely wow. and utterly uncomfortable and doesn't know what to do in this scene. At a juncture. Way to go, yeah. Ruby. You actually used the right uh, terminology. I'm talking to you, Ice Queen. Halt! Excuse me? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Shh, shh, shh. Not you. <laughs> you broke my heart, you stone cold bitch, and I love you for it. You. <laughs> Even the girls are like, oh, I'm gonna eat this guy. <laughs> Oh, that gaudy ship of yours in town. I guess you're here too. I'm standing right before you. So it would seem. <laughs> you realize you just destroyed Atlas military property. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh oh. See, I mistook this for some sort of sentient garbage. I don't have time for your immature games, Crow. Crow? Wait, you two know each other? Jeez. You Atlas specialists think you're so special, don't you? It's in the title. Well, you know what you really are? A bunch of sellouts. Just like your boss. I'm not sure what you think you're implying, but I've heard enough. Oh, I heard too. I heard old Ironwood finally turned his back on Ozpin. Ozpin? Weiss, it's time for you to go. What? Listen to big sister, Weiss. She'll protect you. Just like Atlas is gonna protect all of us, huh? If you won't hold your tongue, then I will gladly remove it for Ooh. you. All right then. Come take it. Oh, not that drunk. This is also the first time we've actually seen two of the adults fight. Yeah. Yep, first time we get full hunters fighting. My sister. Oh no. I that's Crow. Yep, that's I was like Crow. Crow. That's yep, Uncle Crow. You remember her earlier comments, her Uncle Crow taught her to fight with her sight. Yep. 
I'm honestly a little surprised you didn't get that one with crowbar. Bad. With oh, <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking like. Yeah. No. Bad with names. Oh, he didn't. His eyes. Oh, his eyes don't change color. Yeah, they were, they've been red the whole time. This whole fight scene, I could totally see scene changes on this for Soul Calibur. Not that yeah. drunk. <laughs> altercation sir that's actually not true she attacked first is that right yep uh-huh yeah. a robot <laughs> oh and, Pe <laughs> and penny <laughs> god there's that robot and you <laughs> what are you doing here i could be asking you the same thing i now <laughs> now everyone there is a sanction fight happening just around the corner at the Coliseum that I can assure you has better seats and popcorn. Break it up, everyone. We will take care of She the says we. She means I. Yeah. Let's go. If it weren't for Glinda, Beacon would just be a giant pile of rubble by now. Probably. What's it likely? Catch you later, kid. <laughs> and suddenly, your recklessness makes sense. You're just mad because he whooped butt. Oof. That was a draw at best. Mm, no. <laughs> he played the field advantage. Yeah. Also, he was entirely on the defensive and dodging yeah. the whole time. He didn't take what that I love this conversation. If you were one of my men, I would have you shot. If I was one of your men, I'd shoot myself. <gasps> well, I wouldn't condone his behavior. Retaliating like you did certainly didn't help the situation. He was drunk. He's always drunk. <laughs> I fucking love Crow. What? <laughs> Look, Crow, man, you're always pouring shit into your cups are too. You here? Oh, especially You've been him. out of contact for weeks. You can't just go dark like that in the field. I'm not one of your special operatives, Jimmy. General. Whatever. You sent me to get intel on our enemy, and I'm telling you, our enemy is here. We know. Oh. Jim, Jim, oh, Jim, you Jim, know. Jim, Jim. Well, thank goodness I'm out there risking my life to keep you all informed. Crow communication's a two-way street, pal. You see this? That's the send button. <laughs> they had reason to assume you'd been compromised. And I have reason to assume you don't need to be here. Seriously, who invited her? Schnee will discuss this incident back on my ship. 
But, sir. Winter, leave. <laughs> yes, sir. I love her uniform. Outfit thing. Mm. At some point in some fan fiction, they have sex and it breaks everything in that room. They're the one responsible for Autumn's condition. What? Despite what the world thinks, we're not just teachers or generals or headmasters. The people in this room, the leaders of the other two academies, we're the ones that keep the world safe from the evils no one even knows about. It's why we meet behind closed doors, why we work in the shadows. So you tell me, James, when you brought your army to Vale, did you think you were being discreet, or did you just not give a damn? Discreet wasn't working. I'm here because this is what was necessary. You're here because Ozpin wanted you here. He made you a part of this inner circle and opened your eyes to the real fight that's in front of us. And I am grateful. Oh, well, you've got a real funny way of showing it. The people of Vale needed someone to protect them. Someone who would act. When they look to the sky and see my fleet, they feel safe. And our enemies will feel our strength. <laughs> you, you think they're scared of your little ships? I've been out there and I've seen the things she's made. And let me tell you, they are fear. And fear will bring the grim. A guardian is a symbol of comfort, but an army is a symbol of conflict. There's an energy in the air now, a question in the back of everyone's minds. If this is the size of our defenses, what is it we're expecting to fight? So then, what would you suggest we do? I suggest we find our guardian. And you're sure? Bad hair, used a scythe, and smelled like my dad after a long day. <laughs> it was him. What do we do? Nothing. We stay the course. They have no idea who we are, so we have no reason to worry. Besides, <clears throat> the last of the heavy lifting is being taken care of. Thanks to our clever little friend. Uh, speaking of which, it appears we have a new access point. Anywhere good? You could say that. Go to your rooms. I'll prepare everything for tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Got it. I just now realized what she meant Let's by that. Let's give the crowd mm. a good fight. So you can be this many watches through. The randomization process is complete! Ladies and gentlemen, your double tournament rider! So, some stuff happened. Lots quite, of info dump here. Yeah, yep. quite a bit of stuff happened. So I don't feel I was very far off with somebody's been creating the Grim. I thought it was the shopkeep, but they said she keeps creating things that are fear. He said, I've seen the things she's created, and trust me, they are fear. And fear brings the Grim. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but, well, uh... Let's, uh, let's jump back to the actual beginning. Yep, let's start through the beginning. Great uh, fight. Yeah, well, first we, well, first we get the introduction of... We, we get Winter, right? It's, it's her sister. Yep. Which is not a hard call, but yeah. I was off by one. Yeah, it's, it's usually, most people usually think it's either her sister or her mother. Uh, you or knew other. it was female family member, you just didn't pick which one. Yeah. Um, and she's in the military. She's a military officer, and oh, yeah. she's uh, rather rather strict. Extremely military. Yeah, yeah. She, she's a lifer. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, because Weiss is really really happy to see her, but she's still like 
Weiss cold was, and demeaning and hits her upside the head. And Weiss turned into Ruby during that exchange. Yeah, it, the, the dynamic it was really changes. weird. And then Ruby was just really, really, really awkward for Ruby. So, you know. Well, yeah, when you see Weiss <laughs> do something like that, how are you reacting? I mean, or Ruby's gotten used to Weiss acting a yeah. certain way. And this is not the Weiss well, that Ruby knows. Well, Satin just like R- this Ruby. This is a flustered Weiss. This is a Ruby-like Weiss. Well, to me, it's more, it's more, it's less she's reacting to Weiss. It's more she's reacting to Winter is here in a formal getup, in a formal situation, and Ruby thinks she needs to, like, curtsy and speak in formal language and shit, and she just does not know how to behave. I always took it as more a Ruby was reacting to the way Weiss was acting. Weiss made such a huge deal of this that Ruby was like, oh, shit, I guess this is a big deal. Yeah, well, I just figured, you know, because of who uh, Winter is, it's, it's, her, it's uh, because she's a mi- for, like a military officer or, or she's a I'm not convinced she's Ruby knew how important <laughs> the military from another country is or how to act. Well, the, the point is she doesn't know how to act. She's, she's overly, she knows it's a more formal situation than she's supposed to be in, and she's trying desperately to act that way. I, I think it has more to do with rich girl than anything else, but with a little of the military things sprinkled in there. Anyways, um, so we get this weird dynamic with Weiss and, and her sister where it's like, I'm, I want to know about how, how your time in school is going. I'm gonna hit you upside the head when you say something I don't like, but well, because she I'm wasn't concerned. she wasn't paying attention. Yeah, she was babbling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, sister obviously this? cares for her, but is super strict and doesn't seem like much of a people person. Yeah, she's a military person. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, she very much seems like she's done everything she can to turn herself into a weapon, and that's as far as her brain goes. She's cut off the emotional centers, and it leaves her cold. Mm-hmm. As Crow uh, uses the name all the kids have for Weiss, Ice, Ice Queen. Queen. Just, I yeah. do like that moment where Weiss rounds on him, <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 not no, you. no, not you, the Her. original. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so we get... We get the Crow versus Win- Winter fight. We finally meet Crow, Uncle Crow. We finally uh, get a name to no, the drunk who was drinking in the yeah. Crow bar. Yep. And yes, now we know it's, it's Uncle, Uncle Crow. Crow. Yep. Um, and this this fight is just, this whole dialogue, this whole conversation between the two of them is just great. I love their dynamic together. Uh, the back and forth. I, I like. I, I I'm I am totally in the camp. <laughs> Something happened there. Something yeah. happened there. There were oh yeah. There's a history. There is a history there, two. and yeah. <laughs> she was a young, naive recruit straight out of academy. Yeah, he was well, a dashing huntsman. I, I will say, ba- based on, pe- I've seen people. I've seen luck. people do do the math before. More than likely, there's actually a solid age gap between the two of them. Oh, Crow it's only his, like a decade or so from the math I've or seen. A little more. Well, because Crow is in his like it's mid-40s. It's like 10 or 12 years, something like that. Crow has to be in his mid-40s. And considering win, win, how close Winter and Weiss are in age, based on some other things, she's probably at the, at the oldest, I'd say in her late 20s, maybe early Yeah, 30s. but the older you get, the less that time gap matters. True, but still, it's... it's, it's uh, age of... I mean, we don't know what the age of consent here is, but I, well, mean, I mean, even the real world, world enough. once you hit eighteen, I mean, yeah. age gaps no longer matter. Well, I'm just, you know, I mean, they're both old Look enough that Hugh that doesn't Hefner. matter. But Fuck, <laughs> that's not really a great example, dude. Um, <laughs> I feel that was an awesome example, but yeah. well, if, if, if your if your point is to say that age gaps like that are perfectly fine, Hugh Hefner is not where I'd go for that. Um, <laughs> not saying they're fine. I'm saying they exist. Well, uh, it's not what it came off as. But, anyways, uh, so yeah, the two of them they have the fight. It's cool. It's awesome. It's the first time we get to see two full fledged huntsmen actually fight each other, albeit yeah. not to the death. I mean, they're clearly neither one of them is clearly trying to kill the other, but. Yeah, I, I mean, it definitely could have been to the death. She was they definitely were. lunging for the throat at the end there. Maiming? I, 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 I get more of a... She's going for maiming, 
Whereas Crow is just toying with her, but... I think he was toying with her and was pushing her to the brink where she was just seeing red. She was going to make a he big mistake. He wanted her to make a mistake. Yeah. yeah. He was goading her well, yeah. into she, that entire thing. That, yeah, that entire From thing. From the start, he Yeah, he was, was in control her. of that situation the entire time. She, she got him. Just look at that first mad. parry where he's just duck, dodge, weave. Yep. Like it, she threw, what, like 10 or 12... Sh- uh, Shots at him right from the start, and he just kind of stood there and dodged around him and shit. Like yeah. he was expecting this kind of reaction. Well, yeah, no, because he, he didn't, wanted it. He didn't do anything offensive until she, until her blade struck his, and then he started to fight. And then he drew it. Yeah, and then he drew it. it was, so like, I don't want his correct. The first strike or, uh, against his blade was across his back. Yep. It was only after that that he actually drew the blade and started and to used fight. it. So that he could, he can say she did in fact technically yeah. start uh, the what fight. What he told Ironwood was completely accurate. Yep. Uh, then also in the background, while this is all going on, we see Mercury shows up, sees sees Crow and Winter fighting, and it's kind of like, oh shit, pulls a runner and, go, and goes running. Right. Um, clearly recognizes him from somewhere. Um, and comes back a bit later. And that comes the back, at, and that comes back at the end where. They recognize him, and Cinder clarifies it's still okay because they don't know who we are. Right. Yep. Stay the so, course. I, so the idea that Mer- apparently they recognize him, but he does not would not recognize them is the implication there. Yeah, the villains are kind of... Uh, or at least he wouldn't they're... recognize Mercury. No. Well, she said us. They don't recognize us. Okay. So. Um, Fair. Yeah. So that... And then that's the one little bit we get. Oh well, um, we'll get back to the villains because there is more to the villains. But um, yeah, no. Th- so then they uh, they head up to the office, uh, Osmond's office, and we get more wonderful crow being drunk dialogue. He didn't really seem all that drunk once he was yelling. They implied that he was drinking, but it didn't seem very. Oh, well, he'd been. He was okay. The implication is that Crow is always drunk. drunk. Yeah. Therefore, he has reached a state where he can be drunk and functional. He, he is a functional alcoholic, quote unquote. Because yeah. we, 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 we I, I would want to see. I, mm. I use quote unquote because there's a where, whole who lot are you of argument in that terminology. From? Because if they haven't used it in canon, that's kind of. Oh, no. He, he was drinking at the bar but, until yeah. well, he went and fought. I mean, he's he was functional drunk. as a fighter I, while drunk. Well, you can be drunk and fight, but. The the whole mm, that the functional alcoholic seems that's well his job is to fight. If he can fight while drunk, that makes him functional at his job. But, while drunk, but you're implying uh, mm, it's mm, uh, he's that's yeah. We don't we don't need to get into the broader social co- minutia minutia mm. of whether you know, how yeah. Uh, Either Crow's way, the point stands. Glenda habits, very much says, of course he's drunk. He's, he's always, always drunk. drunk. At and which he's point, he's taken drinking. a pull from his flask. Yeah. Sure. Which I absolutely love. That, oh, that yeah. subtle then, comedy. Uh, then uh, Crow points out Winter's not supposed to be there. And Ironwood There's kicks a really out. tense moment there between everyone at the table when he points out that, what the fuck is she doing here? Yeah. Who invited her? And there's that weird pause where Ozpin and uh, James look at each... And when he calls him Jimmy, I love that. Yeah. But there's that weird pause when they look at each other and then Ironwood decides to dismiss yeah. her. So, yeah, it's very much, it's very clearly a matter of... There's a club a, there well, and he, she ain't part yeah. of it. He's being a jackass, but he has a point. She yeah. is not, to be, not supposed to be privy to the conversation they're about to have. Um, she actually, given that information, what do you think? Because we've already run into some uh, illusions of uh, Ozpin and Ironwood working together in the past. How do you think this fits in? I think that's they're, I think they're a team. There's a photo of all of them together young. Um, we haven't seen a photo of them. There's uh, so, yeah, I saw a photo. Of there's them. a photo. They're in all the, by in a the, tree. There's a photo in the intro that is not the individuals in that photo. You only see the photo real quick. There's a similar but. sword with gears, and I thought originally it was Ruby's dad. Crow, Crow is in that photo. He yes. is the only one of the Osmond, teachers Osmond in that photo. Osmond is not in that photo. Osmond is Osmond not in that photo. Osmond is not in that photo. James is not in that photo. 
Okay. Ublik's not in that. Port's not in that. Yeah, no. None of the teachers are in that. Yep. You Cinder, have seen two Cinder's of the members of that. You have seen we two have of seen the members in, that, in photo. that photo. We will get to the photo. It's in the intro for a reason. We will get to the photo. No, I'm sorry. We've seen three of the members of that photo at this point. Yes. Well, depending on how, depending on how you define it, possibly okay, all four. Okay, technically four. Uh, Depends on how you define. We'll get to the photo later. The photo will come into play that later on. That is important, and I'm glad you noticed it. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll get to that later on. Um, anyways, so they're, they're having the conversation, and first thing Crow tells him is, Crow was out there scouting for them, and he found out that their enemy is here, mm-hmm. and, w- and they make the point. Well, we already know. At which point he's like, Well, you could have told me, Jackasses. I'm out there risking my life. <laughs> right. Give this you thing information has a you send button. Know. Yeah. Getting you information you already know. Like, what am I doing? What the hell am I doing out there? Um, and then he may, he drops the inf- piece of information. He drops a name, and you raised your eyebrow and gave a very funny face when he uh, did that. When he mentioned uh, Autumn. Autumn. Yep. Yeah, because like I- they're not just infiltrators; they're the same ones responsible for Autumn's condition. That is the line. Right. Yep. I don't know who Autumn is. Oh, and you shouldn't at this yep. point. You've, we've never heard them refer to Autumn. So, so I'm a sick girl in a lab somewhere. Possibly. Um, it's a trope. The, technically it is speaking, a very tropey trope. Though, technically speaking, they never said it was Super a... Super big, awesome, high-tech They never band. said it was a she. They never even indicated True, that it was a person. could be a male's name with the way it's their naming convention or works. Or a, a thing. Autumn could be the name of a thing. They never True. specified it was a person. Maybe it's the secret name of Bunny Island. Yeah, maybe the, that's what they okay. call Bunny Island. In the, so in I did s- I did some research and it would and it was all right. So I didn't really do some research. Dylan, in in a, just a total chance of synchronicity, told me that there is this island. It's a volcanic island, and pu- it's like every two weeks, this you know this island spits out some lava and it mm-hmm. hits the water, congeals, and then it's an island. But the rock is so porous and sensitive that the waves crashing onto it break it into pieces until it disappears under the water. So this island appears and disappears yep. and reappears every couple of weeks. Uh, pumice yeah. stone is the type of rock you're talking about. I, I, I don't know. I didn't yeah. do it, it's result of volcanic and it floats because of the air bubbles laced through it. No, this is like, it's, it's, it comes up off the seafloor. It's like an actual yeah. island. Yeah. It's just then the top of it sheared off by. Yeah. Waves. It's a, it's actually a fairly f- common phenomena. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's what happens to Bunny Island. Hmm. All right. Uh, so, but no, no, no theories or thoughts uh, based on that at all. Any like, what was your first instinctual reaction when when he said that? Well, the, the to, autumn, to the autumn thing. thing, it was. Where did your brain go? My, uh, <laughs> um, it went to uh, okay. This is uh, Akira. Ah, love uh, that movie. Not a movie I've seen. Oh, okay, so it's uh, it's like uh, 1979, the first anime ever to be uh, put on the big screen in America. Okay. Um, it, it is iconic for most old time anime viewers. At some point, right. I'll sit you down and watch it with you. It is a classic. It yeah. is very but good. What about what about that movie was similar to? Um, there are uh, they they keep talking about like. The one, the, the the important one. Oh, we have to find him, and they keep referring to like the, he's got a condition, and then it's this little sickly person in a big medical bed, and it's like there's something important that's keeping them either subdued or under control or they're mm-hmm. unstable. Yeah. It's a it's a it's uh, like a super really good powered individuals. Okay, it, it's, yeah, it's it's, al- it's almost as tropey as the princesses in another castle. Right. Okay. It's a standard for the uh, superpowered individual to be taken by the military, put into some sort of a bunker or stasis unit, and then controlled from there. That's what they do in uh, Akira. Okay. And then it breaks right. free, everything goes wild, and chaos ensues. As things are wont to do. Um, As things are wont to do. Yes. All right, uh, so we get that, then um, and Crow, Crow ridicules them for bringing the military there. For yeah. being uh, not being, you know, uh, you you could have been a little, yeah, be a little bit more discreet. Um, and then and then Ironwood makes the point. Of, I mean, he's got a point. 
showing up with a whole army on your doorstep is not discreet. Yeah, no, I mean, and Ospin yeah. makes that point eventually, you know, they, uh, about, you know. Yeah. What do you think they think we were expecting to be fighting? Yeah, well, that, that's with what that much now. armor. What do what do you think we were supposed to be fighting, and what must everyone else think now? Yeah, that, that because you showed up with you don't problem? go loaded for bear unless you're expecting to see bear. Yeah. So why the blippity blip blip did Ironwood bring a whole flipping army? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But before you know, before we get to, and obviously that's after Ironwood makes the point, puts up the hologram, and makes the point about you know, you know everybody will feel safe, and then Nasbin refutes that, and he, he also throws out another um, term, I guess that we haven't heard that he says that he compares it to a guardian, that a guardian is a symbol of uh, strength or hope or I forget what the exact word he uses is, and then he com- and then he says the army is the thing that you know makes people wonder what we're fighting. So, just as a completely side note, I really love the hologram technology, the way they di- they display it graphically in this show. It always just makes me happy whenever I see them pop up a hologram. It is very well rendered, even within this old program. Mm. Side note, like I said. Yeah. No, but, um, yeah, so we've got this thing now with something about Autumn's condition, and they started talking about a guardian because then at the end he says, "I suggest we find our guardian." I think it's it's something similar to like a chosen one, where all of the magical or a champion, something yeah, like that. something where it's we have to. All right, you go to this tower, you go over that there to that tower, and you all get a superpower for like they're going to become Power Rangers. Okay, to, to, maybe not to like it's morphin time extent, but mm. like. Although he did say he, he uses the singular. He didn't say guardians. He said guardian. Yeah, both I, th- kinds. I, I, so I, I think it's going to be like a Power Ranger thing. I, okay. be, I think by the they power have to activate, of Gray Skull. Yeah, they have to activate their guardian, and I think there are going to be other guardians. Yeah. Well, and then we we, we found out that um, apparently whatever this little club of people who are in the know is, it, in, it includes them, and it also includes the heads of the other two academies. Mm-hmm. We got that little bit of information. Which, and so. that's why I think that they are going to have to activate their guardian. Mm-hmm. I think they're speaking in the singular for their own personal. Okay. Like, it, this is the guardian of Beacon. Then there's going to be a guardian of Vacuos and a guardian of, what's the other one? Atlas, yeah. Guardian. It'll be, it'll be of Atlas, Shade, and Haven Shade. of the other academies. So there will be guardians yeah. of those as well. In which case, I feel that they would become like Power Rangers. Okay, hmm. but very okay. loosely. Very, I mean, like just around the same concept of. You know, see, every time sh- you see that, my brain immediately goes to Torchwick dressed as the Pink Ranger. Doot doot. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Copyright. Sorry. Oh, jeez. All right. Don't ask um, me why. All right. Uh, so I believe after we get after that whole meeting breaks up. Uh, That's when it cuts to the villains. Villains gonna vill. That's when they have their discussion oh, about what? how, oh, hey, Crow and yep. uh, Winter showed up. And then Cinder notices on her uh, scroll that they have what she refers to as a new access point. I, yeah, I think it's like a, she had installed some kind of Trojan. That way, did anybody. You, did you see what popped up on the scroll? It, yeah, it, it was uh, Ironwood's. Yep. No, yeah. Iron I, I was going to say, Ironwood was playing with his phone throughout yep. that discussion. And, if you notice, and uh, well, there it, was an it, interesting screensaver at one point. It was when he put it down for his hologram that it was activated. Yeah, well, because when, when, when it he touched Ospin's desk, would you say? Yeah. I, well, that, that's it where was, the tournament It, it, it the went plug to in, all yeah. of the systems. Anybody who logs in. It went to every touchscreen, that little, that little piece. I, I'm just pointing out that most of the technology in this world appears to be built into the surface. Yeah. Some of it. So Ospin's desk was likely also his computer. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that's, that's why when he put the phone down, it turned the hologram on. He <laughs> plugged it into a terminal that's on the desk. That's why I'm clarifying, not just expecting him to have caught it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I guess I thought that was obvious. I'm sorry. But anyways... Uh, yeah, so now they've hacked into Ironwood's. Uh, yep, Ironwood's phone apparently, and it's either. I'm, Which it's realistically, either. with the way Ironwood's talked, 
he's in charge of the school. He's not in charge of the city itself, but like he has well, a he's lot in charge of pull of security. in Haven. He's he in, was. He's in charge until of they took him away from that and put Ironwood in charge. No, that's what I'm saying. Ironwood. No, 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 no. I'm saying Ironwood is in charge of security. Oh. Sorry, I thought you were saying Ozpin was. He no. used to be. He's not anymore. Yeah, because no. Ironwood got put in charge. Yeah, that's why he hacked. They've hacked Ironwood's scroll now, so they, now they have access to uh, the mil- the Atlas military files, presumably. Yeah, that yeah. chess piece that just keeps showing up. That showed up again. Yep. Um, I think that's. I think we covered all the narrative stuff. There was one other thing I wanted to bring up briefly. Um, During the fight, oh. there's one thing during the fight. Uh, we Here's see Winter. We see Winter use an ability. Mm. Well, uh, we see her use a lot of abilities. I have another thing then to bring well, up in this fight afterwards. Something very sp- specific. She she does something and she generates all those bird things, right? Yep. What is she What is she producing when she produces those bird things? Raw ice. But what What are they coming off of? Something we've seen before. What, her, her hand? I, I don't remember. remember. She's uh, using a glyph. During the fight, you see Winter do this kind of thing where she stabs in. And, and there's a glyph on the ground. Yeah, yeah. And then Round later on, she has a glows. glyph behind her. Yeah. Just like Weiss's. Yeah. And for this, for as this, the yeah. birds are attacking him, she okay. also has hold a swarm of birds I'm swirling confused. around what's, her. So what's the question, though? I'm a little All right, confused hold on. now. We've been told that everyone has their own individual semblance. Right. Something unique Something to them. We saw... Well, Winter use something that is, if not the exact same thing, nearly a carbon copy of what Weiss's semblance is. Well, I think Weiss, we Weiss can't animate her ice. Winter can. Yeah, because that's the difference. Winter used it to create these bird things. It was the same glyph, the same style of glyph. She just has but she way produced more something control. different with it. Yeah. yeah. I think that comes. I believe artistically, it's the same design as well. But don't hold me to that, you guys out there. No, it, it's the same. It's, it's the same glyph. Been a while since I looked at them side by side. Yeah, it's a okay, snowflake. It glyph. is the same. It's just, so we have this. Suddenly, we have a a contradiction contradiction in what we've been told. We've been told every individual person has a unique semblance. Well, a unique semblance and a, and a glyph aren't necessarily the same thing, though, right? Yeah, well, her Weiss's well, semblance the glyph is, is glyphs. their semblance. The is semblance. her semblance. So it's a question of, but she uses are there different semblances? Do we think it's the same semblance being used in a different way? That's, that's my question is, what do you, we've seen them use two semblances that are very, very similar. What do you think is going okay, on Okay, on that point, you could argue that Blake's and Sons are very similar. They're both mm. copy glyphs. But the... She's not just making glyphs. She's making the identical glyph. Although the glyph is doing Devil's something advocate. different. <laughs> so that was my question was, we saw some things that were potentially contradictory. What did you, did you notice that? Did you think anything about that? Well, it happened so quick that I didn't really have the opportunity to compare them that, that closely. Okay. Um, but I did notice that, well, well, whereas Weiss can do like time glyphs, Winter didn't do anything like this. She did the speed thing like Weiss does, but she never used a time glyph. It never went gold. You never saw any gears. Yeah, she, she, Winter mostly used her own physical uh, uh, technique and ability in sword fighting. Yeah, the only, the only real power she displayed was when she used the uh, glyph for the birds and a couple of times when she used glyphs for other things. But yeah. the thing was, for the most was part, the, bir- she, the birds, and then she was revving when, at the end of the fight. She was revving up to do she something else. She used it to boost her. Yeah, as a booster. I think. Yeah. And then her. she was stopped right before the strike. Because but, Ironwood, yeah. Yeah, uh, for the most part, she relied on her own physical ability and fighting skill rather than her powers yeah. and her glyphs. The birds were really the only time yeah. we saw her use it. And she does, and we know that she, her weapon is uh, somewhat similar to uh, Weiss's. She has she uh, dual wielded swords. Still rapiers. She has two, though, instead of one. Instead of the one, yep. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Which yeah. is magnifique. Mm. All right, that was, the, that was the last thing I had. Yep, same here. Uh, okay. All right, well, that'll be it for today, guys. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. 
Oh, comment away. Bell for comment away. We, for like, we love hearing it. Um, find us on Twitter at InfoConfused, and you can find our podcast on so- SoundCloud, Spotify, and Stitcher, as well as here on YouTube. It's good stuff. We are Inform the Confused. I'm Alan. And I'm Bobby. See you later.